when we did this for the cooking class, we roasted a bunch of turkeys and we made a couple different stuffings. But honestly, you serve this with a salad. And yeah. Same. You want a sort of chewy bread that's day old, starting to get stale. If perchance you do not have stale bread, what you can do is dice it up and just put it in the oven for a couple minutes just to dry it out a little bit. And with morels, the stem part here, we're going to trim off and discard. Mushrooms contain a lot of moisture, so when you do cook them down, they'll be a fraction of their original volume. Wait till they get nice and soft. And give them a minute to start caramelizing a little bit before we toss them around. You can see now that they're starting to caramelize. You can also see that they probably shrunk down to a third of their volume. Just toss that a little bit so the garlic starts to release its flavor. You want to wait on the garlic, adding it towards the end so that it doesn't start to brown and get bitter. We can use all of this. This is what we're going to chop off at the top. Trim off the root end, and you can separate all those layers. I'll put them into a colander and rinse them over lots of cold water. With the leeks, we're not looking for them so much to caramelize and brown like we did with the mushrooms, but we are looking for them is to, to cook down till they're nice and tender. So the, it'll lose its volume, but you really don't want to cook them till they start to brown. Let that soak for about five ten minutes just to let the bread absorb that custard mixture it's another reason you don't want the bread really to be fresh you want it to be sort of stale and dried out so that it'll it'll take up that mixture we're going to put this into a casserole dish pyrex earthenware something that's going to distribute the heat ra rather evenly i think works best for something like this now over the top we're going to put about a cup of gr grated gruyere cheese brown real nicely and then we're going to place, place it in the middle of a 375 degree oven and it's going to bake for about an hour until the custard sets up and then the cheese gets nice and brown and bubbly on top. It's really pretty. It smells wonderful. When people talk about complementing or contrasting. You know, you get the toastiness of the cheese. Mushrooms have got a lot of that richness them, themselves and, and texture to them. So I think this sort of match up be a, a good complement for our oh, reserve. Definitely is. I see a lot of flavor intensity, nice body and texture. The same thing that I see in the wine. The Chardonnay Reserve is aged about 15 months in French oak barrels on its original yeast leaves. And we go through and then we'll stir the barrels to try to resuspend the yeast cells and create a little bit more complexity and texture. It's very intense and like I said, lots of flavor, lots of body, lots of texture. buying mushrooms, especially something like a shiitake and a, a cremini. And look at the underside. What you want to look for are mushrooms where the cap sort of curls under still. These are all good examples of your money well spent. As mushrooms lose moisture, they'll actually start to show their gills. This means they're older. It's not really as desirable a mushroom. When you're working with mushrooms, you don't want to dip them in, in water. You don't want to soak them in a lot of water where basically they're going to absorb all that. When you go to cook them, they've got to release all of it. So what's best is just to take a damp towel and brush the dirt off of them. But if you do have fresh morels, chances are you, you do have to give them a quick plunge. Fill up sink, dunk them in the water, you know, sort of give them a good swish around there and lift them out fairly quickly. Drain them, shake them really well. And then what I like to do is take a sheet pan and put down kitchen towels and then spread them out so that they can dry. Mm -hmm. 